Greetings wet shavers and head shavers. Today we're going to be using Alfin from Phoenix, the CK6 formula, the Mamba 70 by Razor Rock, and the Yaki 30mm Barber Pole Monster coming right up. We're going to be using Alfin by Phoenix. He calls it an esoteric shaving soap. And the CK6 formula, which is their premium formulation, it performs as well as a tallow soap, but has no tallow in it. He, um, Douglas at Phoenix is really proud of the CK6 formulation, and um, he goes at extensive, he writes extensively about it on his website, so I suggest you check it out, see the link below. Um, it's got all sorts of unique butters in it. Uh, fragrance oils, rose, bay leaf, lemon myrtle, vetiver, white clover, cypress, hydrochloricium, can't even say that, ambret, geranium, and tobacco absolute. It's a really, really nice, a little bit sweet, fresh scent, and has an exotic uh, element to it as well. Some of the exotic butters that are in this, white clove bakuri butter, uh, bakuri butter, kapak, Cool butter, wow, and <laughs> my goodness, can't even pronounce these. Um, I, say, I guess Kupa Kaku butter has a very high absorption capability for water, 200% greater than lanolin. So I can tell you this soap really, really does work well, um, and it is a premium soap, and uh, it's about $26.95 US dollars, which does really make it uh, in the premium price category for sure, per ounce. Uh, it's about a five ounce container, I believe. Um, I do really enjoy using this product. It's the only CK6 uh, soap that I have at the moment, but um, I bought it as a test and I've been quite pleased with it. So I will certainly buy more um, next time I order from them. Uh, today's brush, the Yaki uh, 30 millimeter barber pole monster. Like this thing is just humongous. Like, um, you know, next to my hand, it's huge. Next to the razor, you know, it just towers right over the razor. Um, Really good Yaki 30. Um, I think this is a wolf, timber wolf knot. Um, it's got good, good splay, good backbone, and it does really hold and take a lot of lather to get it going. But it's a fun, uh, fun brush to use for sure. All right, just gonna wet my head. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna apply some pre shave by Phoenix as well. This is the ice cube. This basically provides extra glide and a really intense menthol hit. Doesn't add any scent, but definitely adds a mentholated sensation. And it's a product I really enjoy using. So just rub it against the grain. Your stubble will take care of pulling enough product off it. And just wet your fingertips just a little bit. And you get that. Spread out. Okay. Wet the brush. It really does hold a lot of water. So we don't need to squeeze it all out. Just squeeze the water out of the tips. And start the lathering. You can see it kind of covers the entire container. It doesn't take much. Um, CK6 is a little bit softer. It's not a triple mill soap, but a little bit softer. And it, these brushes really pick up the soap quickly. Feeling that menthol. Keep a towel nearby if you're putting menthol on your head because you don't want that dripping in your eyes. It's not a good time. Yeah. Really makes quick work of lathering your head. Like 
the surface area is pretty huge. Make sure my focus is on. So if there's other shavers watching these videos and you guys make videos as well, I'm curious what gear you guys are using. I don't know, I think some people just kind of stick their phone to their mirror or maybe do something really simple. I'm actually pretty heavy into photography and that's a pretty big hobby of mine. So I have a lot of high-end gear. So I'm actually using an SLR mounted to a suction mount on the mirror. The 5D Mark II for the camera inclined viewing audience with a, um, I'm using a 24 millimeter 2.8 lens. So if talking about photo gear is something you, uh, you guys are interested while I'm shaving, well, just let me know down below and we'll start doing some photo talk because I'm really heavy into that. Got a significant amount of gear, lots of lenses, cameras, that sort of thing. So something I definitely enjoy. This soap is ridiculously good. You can feel its thickness and it's really, really soaking up the water. Like I'm, I'm going down the second time now for some more water. Very, very, very happy with this. Douglas, you did a fantastic job on this soap. I'm very pleased with it. I've always been a tallow fan, but you have shifted me believe that it is possible to make <clears throat> a soap with tallow-like properties without tallow. Tremendous. Absolutely love it. All right, Mamba 70. This is by Razor Rock. This is on their mild side. Um, it's a very, very great razor. Blade tabs are covered. This is the barber pole handle. I don't know if you can see that, it's just... barber pole handle, blade tabs are covered, and um, you know Razor Rock serial number made in Canada and Ontario, which is absolutely excellent. Lucky for us, we order from Italian Barber and it literally shows up next day. So I see the messages on the website for the, for the Americans uh, that you have to have delays at the border and we feel bad for you, but we're very happy to have Italian Barber right in our backyard. So. Um, good razor, really happy with it. I have several and this is definitely one of my uh, more favorite ones. I can shave quickly with it and I don't feel like it's going to bite me. And um, a great starting razor as well if somebody's willing to spend a little bit extra in getting a premium um, CNC milled razor. All right, first pass with the grain. New treat blade in this today. Very happy with treat. Sharp, smooth. Got about a day's growth, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, it's just tearing through. whatsoever. Very nice. This soap is really good. It actually could probably use a little bit more water. Really feeling that menthol. The Phoenix Cube also claims to be a little bit of a lather booster. And I have noticed that it does boost and make some of the lathers a little bit thicker. So it's a great product. I, I started using it not too long ago, but I've been using it almost on every shave. The menthol is really, really fun. And uh, if you enjoy menthol, you can pretty much mentholate any soap you want. They also make a product called the Chill Mill 
which is basically a menthol crystal grinder. I have that as well, I'll, uh, I'll use that in a future shave. And maybe I'll use them both together one time and torture myself. But, yeah, really, really good first pass. Just sailed right through it. All right, let's drop my towel. Kind of rinse up, be back for pass two. Okay. Yeah, just an enormous amount of lather on this brush. I really like this Yaki 30. I don't use it too often. It is really huge. smell the soaps as well as you'd like to but I'm gonna just put a little bit of soap right under my nose I don't want to do that on camera but I'm shaving by myself yes I'll put a dollop of soap right here just so I can smell it as I shave since I don't shave my face fantastic all right second pass across the grain hair in this area but you always seem to get a couple of floaters yeah you could technically stop there that's actually really good okay gonna rinse up be back for pass three yeah there's still a humongous amount of lather in this brush. If I was to squeeze it out, you would probably have enough to do my face. If I needed to. I have some other Phoenix soaps as well. I think I have Briar, Egyptian Musk, a couple of other ones as well. I think I'm almost done though, so I'm pretty much due for another order with Phoenix. All right. So against the green pass, I do with the leaf, which is a cartridge style razor. It takes three DE half blades. So see down below, um, I have more information on this particular razor. I prefer doing my against the green pass with this. Very intuitive to use, makes it nice and easy. I have a review dedicated to this where I did the entire shave with this particular razor. This is almost cheating, believe it or not. It's like using a, a cartridge, a mock, or a fusion, or any one of those crazy expensive razors, but with the same simplicity using DE blades. It makes it really effortless, very minimal pressure required, and gives you BBS in no time. If I'm in a super rush, I usually reach for this.
three blade effect is almost like uh, you know buffing your head if you were quickly moving a double edge razor back and forth. So at three blades, kind of do it all at the same time. Okay, gonna rinse up. Be back with a post shave, and we're gonna quickly do the beard cleanup, and then we'll apply the post shave. for the post shave, I mean uh, the beard cleanup. Aftershave, I don't have the matching aftershave uh, for Alfin, but Santa Maria del Fiore by Razor Rock for ends seems to be a pretty close match. Also has tobacco. Wonderful. Very good. And the bomb today. Ministerium Serum by Phoenix as well. This stuff is actually really good. I've used about half of it. Um, don't need very much. It's alcohol, fragrance free, and um, there's also a mentholated version available as well. This is probably the best bomb I've used. I don't use a lot of bombs. I have a couple of them. And there's another one by Taconic, which is pretty good as well. But this one is definitely my favorite. And even for my head, like you only really need a small dot and it will completely cover it without any issue. It absorbs well. The smell of the ingredients is good. There is no fragrance. Um, and now there's a mentholated version as well, so I'd probably get that. The beard bomb today, we're going to use Profit. Scrape a little bit out like that. It's a bit, you gotta heat it up to kind of melt it in your hands. Got a really nice fragrance, does a good job of controlling the flyaways. Has a bit of a heavier fragrance than I would prefer, but still, it's a good product. I didn't like it initially when I first tried it, but I'm on my third bottle, so obviously I've gotten used to it, and it is. Very effective at what it does, very moisturizing and hydrating. Well, that's it, gentlemen. Thank you for joining me once again. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's shave. 
So once again, we used Alfin by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. We used the Yaki 30 millimeter Barber Pole Monster Brush. Um, Mamba 70 by Razor Rock with a treat blade. And the reverse pass with the leaf. And uh, post shave was Lucky Tiger. Santa Maria del Fiore by Razor Rock, and of course, Ministerium Serum by uh, Phoenix as well. Thanks, gentlemen. Do all the YouTube stuff, please. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.